Moin ihr wunderbare Menschen des Interwebs, ich begrüße euch ganz herzlich zurück zu meinem Let's Play von The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Wir wollten uns in diesem Part einmal im Gefängnis umschauen und zwar im Office des Governors. Und da würde ich sagen, machen wir uns einmal auf den Weg. Borkley Pri Prison is on the outskirts of London, backing onto a lonely burial ground. Its four high outer walls loomed. Quietly before us in the fog, having requested a meeting, we were shown to the governor's office in the watchtower. Mhm. Mm also, die Uhr macht mir Angst. Auf der anderen Seite finde ich sie auch irgendwie cool. <laughs> Ich kann, ich kann mir tatsächlich vorstellen, so eine Uhr, so eine Uhr reinzustellen, einfach nur für den Effekt. Irgendwie, also es hat was. Es ist unfassbar creepy, aber irgendwie auch cool. Ich weiß nicht. Ähm, aber ja, das Büro sieht nicht sehr einladend aus, muss ich sagen. This place is full of foreign criminals. I can I remember the last time a civilian was, da was down here. And you, then I want to talk to an inmate, but To me. Do you keen who I am? I'm the governor, Barry Caden. Oh, yes, it's a pleasure. I'm Ryunosuke Naruhoro, defense lawyer. And an Eastern, I see. Does it mean... Yes, I'm a visiting student of law from the Empire of Japan. Japan? Did she just say Japan? Uh, yes. Well, there's no any of your kind in here, lady. Maybe you should try to try the prison next door, huh? I didn't notice another prison next door, sir. Anyway, we came to ask you some questions about... I and I like to be so direct, but... I have no intention of speaking with the likes of your suspicious-looking Easterners. Now get off the, out my door, uh, out my hair. So as soon as he finds out that we are from Japan, he reacts like this? That surely means... I think it's because of the professor case. You think so too? Ten years ago, Genjin Asogi, also known as the professor, was incarcerated at this prison. And then, after his execution, he apparently re-emerged from his grave in the cemetery behind the prison. I, I might have known. You're sniffing around about that case, aren't you? Your agents, eh? Part of the professor's great web? No doubt. No, not at all. We're just... Get gone, with her before I punch your lights out. We, we're going, we're going. Clearly the ghost of that killer still haunts this place. We're not going to get anywhere here. Unless we can somehow prove to this man that there's nothing suspicious about us. Governor Caden, what are you thinking, Mr. Zato? I feel sure that name came up in conversations recently somewhere. I was wondering if whoever mentioned him might have some ideas to help us. Come to think of it, I have the same feeling. Hmm. Um. Sholmes war das, glaube ich, nicht. Aber ich... Ich glaube, der Name kam beim Gespräch von Mikotoba, mit Mikotoba auf. Ja, ich glaube, Shoms hat den Namen nicht erwähnt. Dann würde ich einfach mal sagen, wir gehen zum Hotel. Vielleicht kann uns Mikotoba irgendwie weiterhelfen. Da ist Professor Mikotoba over there. Oh, das ist die... Aber das ist doch schon eine ältere Ausgabe, oder? Also das ist mit der Londoner Exhibition und dann da hinten ist der Angriff auf dem Reaper noch zu sehen. Oh, hello you two. I was just taking a moment to catch up on the world now that I'm unpacked. But where's such Judge Shigoku? Yes, he's not the relaxing sword. He's taking himself off to pay his respects to all the legal bigwigs. Having only just arrived in the country today, goodness, he's full of energy. Um, Professor, you mentioned something before about how you'd known the prison governor at Berkeley Prison. Oh, Governor Caden, you mean? 
So it is the same man. Father, we must speak with the governor. But he refused to talk to us. He said we were suspicious Easterners. Well, I'm sure if I accompanied you, accompanied you, it would be a very different story. Oh, would you? That would be wonderful if you have time now. Sadly, as you can see, I'm very busy at the moment. Busy drinking coffee on a comfortable city? No, no, I have rather a lot to prepare for tomorrow, you know. Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't say that out loud, did I? You Mikotobas are alarmingly good at reading people's thoughts. Or could it be that you Naruhoros are alarmingly bad at hiding your thoughts? Let's not fall out now, I have an idea. What's he writing on that piece of paper? Here's a lot of instruction for you. Hopefully, when he sees my name, he will change his tune. Uh, thank you. Okay, the letter of instruction has been entered into the court record. Good luck, then. Okay, dann uh, würde ich mir aber sehr, sehr gerne um, das Ganze hier einmal angucken. Professor Mikatoba has wonderful handwriting, doesn't he? This dark-suited young man is not in the least bit untrustworthy. Is it just me, or does that make me sound extremely untrustworthy? I'd wish he'd at least called you a nice young man. I'm really not sure that would help. Oh, it looks like this is some sort of steamship ticket. The, the SS Guru's First Class Cabin 001. Yokohama departure 11th September London arrival 1st November Ah, that's the boat that Professor Mikotoba and Judge Chikoku came on from Japan, isn't it? Yes, I think it's called uh, Dunkirk on the north coast of France for a night before finally arriving in Dover To think it's been almost a year since we arrived in Dover on the SS Beria It seems a shame not to keep your ticket as a memento of your trip, don't you think? Yes, I agree. I have mine safely in my diary and I keep mine in my wallet, so I have it with me at all times. Oh, well, how strange. Where could it have gone? Are you like this on purpose, Mr. Naruhoro? Did I imagine it, or was it common accompanied by a light little sigh? Okay, good. Then wurde das abgedatet, und dann sollten wir jetzt in der Lage sein, mit dem guten Mann im Gefängnis zu reden. Schauen wir mal. So, here, have you for dich, good man? If you would just cast your eyes over this, Governor Caden. What's this then? You can I pull the wool over my eyes, you good for nothing Japanese student? Mikotoba? Dad, that young jock from the forensic laboratory. Dad, Mikotoba? Yes, exactly, him. Oh dear, perhaps I should have said something sooner. Um, Eugene Mikotoba's daughter, Suzato. Jinx, you're the, the young man's daughter? And you did not think to mention that before? I do apologize. I, well, you'd best take a seat then. Can I offer you a cup of tea, perhaps? And Dine forgot to try one of these V handcuff biscuits? Your father's influence is nothing short of amazing. I'm bitterly regretting not announcing who I was from the outset now. So then, what can I do for you, huh? Well, we are currently investigating a case. It's one of your warders, you see. He's gone missing. Missing? That's right. It's surely been reported to you as well, being the prison governor. I have not heard nothing of the sort. There's no missing persons in my prison. But how can that be? It's Mr. Daly Wajil, your chief warder. That's right, his wife came to us and asked us to investigate his disappearance. Let's skip the part about him only going missing yesterday for now. Clearly that means something to him. Would you be so kind as to tell us what you know, sir? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. We understand that Mr. Vigilis is chief warder here at the prison. Oi, there he was. A strong sense of responsibility and dedicated to the job, no doubt about it. He was a fine warder. Sorry, did you say was? Oi, he doesn't work here no more. He loved the job. Oh my. When was this exactly? There is a question. When was it about? It can I have been much less than... 10 years ago now. But... Wait, what? Uh, 10 years ago now? He stopped working here 10 years ago? Hi, as I minded. You... Keen... I have never heard the fellow's name in all the time. Not so worry if he's gone missing though. B but Mrs. Vigil made no mention of it. I think perhaps Mr. Narohoro that his wife simply doesn't know. I think she's unaware that he no longer works here. Governor Caden, can you tell us what happened? Why did Mr. Vigil gave gave up his job here? That's important, is it? Yes, I believe it may be. What are you thinking, Mr. Narohoro? I can't help wondering, given that it was 10 years ago, which was exactly when the professor was being held at this prison. So Mr. Vigil actually resigned from the position of chief warder 10 years ago, you're telling us? What happened to make him leave the job? In actual fact, he did not leave the job willingly. He had no choice in the matter. You mean he was dismissed? It was after a particular walk. Sorry, a walk? Oi, that's our word for it in here. A walk to the gallows. Ah, an execution. It's the job of the chief warder to prepare the gallows tree and ob oversee any executions, you see. Only, Vigil did something unthinkable on that last walk he was manning. What did he do? I'm sorry, but I cannot reveal that information. But I can tell you that it's very rare for a chief warder to be relieved of his post. But why wouldn't Mrs. Vigil know about it? She appears to be under the impression that her husband still works here. I wouldn't keen anything about that, I'm afraid. Can you perhaps answer one more question about the circumstances of his dismissal? And what would that be, hun? That last execution that Mr. Vigil was responsible for overseeing. Was it by any chance the professor's? My thoughts exactly. I'm sorry, I really am. But I'm no at liberty to answer that. I see. My father came to Britain all those years ago in order to study forensic medicine. But you seem to have been well acquainted. The dead room, the prison and the cemetery have a lot to do with one another. After all, they need fresh corpses for forensic research. Do you know, Keen? Yes, I can imagine. The advancement of medical science isn't always particularly palatable. Your father worked in the laboratory just on the far side of the graveyard. In the basement of St. Sinners. It's still in use today. St. Sinners? That's come up before, I'm sure. Yes, that's right. We've been in We've been there. Mikotoba and I have used to ride in a carriage together and negotiate terms. Or more fresh material, I suppose. Aye, and we used to sit in here for hours and gap on about dissections and all sorts. Oh, it takes me back. Over a pot of tea and a plate of cough biscuits, of course. How charming. He was a good fellow, your father. Reliable and dead set on his work. But I'm afraid... 
I will never understand you, Japanese. Because of Genjin Asogi, I suppose. Well... I cannot tell you anything else. Thank you so much for your time, Governor. Oh, one more for you away, hun. I'm sure I have it here somewhere. Oh, found it. Here, take this as a wee souvenir of your visit to the prison. What is it? That's Vigil's dismissal notice. It's ten years old now, of course. Oh my, are you sure? Oi, it's no trouble at all. It's no, not the original mind. Okay. Thank you very much, Governor Caden. Well, in return. Do me a favor and never come back here. That case is closed. Well, I think we ought to return to Baker Street for the time being. Yes, I agree. We need to report back to Mr. Shams uh, with what we found out about Mr. Vigil. What will he tell Mrs. Vigil, I wonder? Okay, ich würde mir aber gerne die Notiz hier durchlesen. Okay, notice of dismissal, 25th June. Chief Warder Daily Vigil is re is relieved of his post with immediate effect for having violated clause 132 of her majesty code of conduct for prisons all rights to redundancy pay and other financial benefits are fully revoked reason for dismissal aiding and abetting the escape from this prison of convict okay this is ausgeschwätzt just prior to his execution Details of this escape are still being investigated. Full cooperation with inquiries will be expected. Prison Governor Barry Caden. Additional notes. Indications are that the jailbreak plot was conceived prior to the convict's incarceration. It's believed that the convict engaged in some form of negotiation with prison staff in order to secure assistance. Full disclosure of information regarding these negotiations will be demanded. Also, Heißt das, dass er dem Professor, also Kasumas Vater, dabei geholfen hat, zu entkommen? Also würde rein theoretisch eine Chance noch bestehen, dass er noch am Leben ist? Irgendwie? Also ich meine eigentlich sehr unrealistisch, weil ähm, er wurde ja dann, also er, ist ja, er soll ja vom Grabe wieder auferstanden sein und dann wurde ihm ja in die Brust geschossen. Also, ja, ist er ja dann doch nicht mehr am Leben, aber vielleicht, ja, doch. Wer weiß, ich möchte in diesem Spiel absolut gar nichts mehr ausschließen, aber das ist interessant, weil ich mich jetzt auch frage, warum soll er ihm denn beim Ausbruch geholfen haben? Also, was, was war denn sein Motiv, ihm zu helfen? Ja, also, was, was hat denn der Professor zu bieten, dass er sowas machen würde, also, dass er seinen Job verraten würde für das, was er steht und was eigentlich seine Aufgaben sind. Das ist ähm, sehr interessant. Das würde, mich, das würde mich mal interessieren, was ihn dazu bewegt hat. Aber wir gehen jetzt erstmal wieder zurück zu Sholmes und berichten ihn, was wir herausgefunden haben. We are back. Hello, you two. I thought you'd be back before long, so I baked some... Scones for us all. Ah, so that's what the delicious smell is. Greetings, my dear fellows. Warum sind die Fa was? <laughs> oh, Mann, ey. You've returned a good deal sooner than I was anticipating. <laughs> also erst war Shoms ein Super Saiyajin God und jetzt ist er ein Super Saiyajin Blue. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, hello, Mr. Shoms. Hello, Mr. Sholmes. Say nothing. Your thoughts are written all over your faces in any case. It turns out that it may have been adv advisable to test my hair color restoration tonic before application. Oh my. 
Pray tell me, what of our water friend? Have you garnered some new information? Oh, um, yes, something very surprising, in fact. So it's not a patch on your hair, to be honest. It most certainly isn't, but still, we discovered that... Drop everything, chumps. This is more important. Gina? I... I can't add them and if it... What's happened? Clearly a very grave matter indeed. Poor Miss Lestrade made no mention of my hair whatsoever. It's... it's the boss. What do you mean, Inspector Gregson? The boss is... he's... he's dead. W what? They... they just found his body shot with a pistol. What? But... but... Uh, but... Inspector Gregson? He was murdered? No, not Grexy! Come in, my dear girl. Tell us the whole story. Are you serious, Gina? Inspector Gregson was... He was really shot? I, I don't know much about what happened myself yet. They are still there, investigating the scene. Where did this take place? A little rented room in a building full of flats on Friends, Fresno Street. The outskirts of town, nowhere near his home. He was perhaps investigating a case then. The thing is, no one at the yard knows nothing about no case around there. Oh, how strange. The boss was... He was so good to me. I know I ain't up to much yet, but... One day I was gonna show him. I was gonna show him I'd become a proper detective. Oh, Jenny. So, who did this? Do you have any idea who the culprit is? They got him already. Already? They have caught the shooter so soon? A witness reported something was going on and the boys got straight down there and took care of him. Who? What awful person did this? Ich habe das Gefühl, dass das der Mann von Mrs. Vigil sein wird. I, I still can't believe it myself. Gina? Oh, oder Kazuma. Eins von beiden wird sie jetzt mir gleich sagen. It was the Reaper. Um. Wait a minute, you don't mean they have arrested Lord von Sieg for it? That's right. The that Reaper blokes gone and shoot the boss. Das erinnert mich übrigens auch an den Fall aus Phoenix Wright, wo wir Edward verteidigen mussten. Das hat vielleicht daran erinnert und das war auch, dass Edward jemand erschossen haben soll. Lord von Siegs? Voice crack. <laughs> Are you quite sure, Miss Lestrade? It's Barack von Siegs the police have arrested. I saw him with me on ice in the interview room at the yard. I don't believe it. But there were witnesses. And they are all saying it was him. So you mean there were actual... Actually, multiple witnesses? They heard the gunshot, apparently. And when our lot got to the scene, there was only the bus and that reaper broke in the room. There's no way Lord von Sieg would have taken Gregson's life. I, I just don't believe it. I don't believe it either. Thank you for informing us, Miss Lestrade. This really is most terrible news. I'm dreadfully sorry. What are you saying sorry for? You didn't do nothing. Well, anyway, I'm taking a cab over to the scene right now. Please come and all, as soon as you can. You've gotta help. Yeah. 
It's a detective's lot to appear wherever some sinister plot has unfolded. Little wonder we all look at Haggard. Haggard. Sometimes these things are almost too much for the nerves. Mr. Sholmes. What use is there in being a great detective if I fail to see something like this coming, hmm? How could I let this happen to Gregson? To Gregson! Mr. Naruhoro, I shall leave at once to begin my investigations. Of course, yes, we will too. It would be helpful if you could talk to Mr. Reaper and see what you can glean. I'm sure you were intending to do so anyway. Until later then. Inspector Gregson dead and Lord von Zeke's arrested. Bruno, Susie, I've called you a handsome. It's waiting outside. Uh, thanks, Iris. Shall we, Miss Suzato? Yes. Okay. Um. Okay, holy shit. Um. Gut, ich. Ich glaube, also, das ist, es wäre echt traurig, dass jetzt Gregson tot ist. Ähm, ich habe den Charakter sehr, sehr gerne gemocht und finde es jetzt sehr tragisch, dass er ähm, nicht mehr unter uns weilt und von Sieg soll der Mörder sein. Das kann ich mir beim besten Willen nicht vorstellen. Ich bin gespannt, was wir noch herausfinden werden. Wir werden ins Gefängnis gehen, allerdings erst im nächsten Part. Hier gibt es einen Cut. Ich bedanke mich ganz herzlich fürs Zusehen. Ich hoffe, ihr hattet Spaß und wenn ihr mögt, sehen wir uns sehr, sehr gerne im nächsten Part wieder. Bis dahin. Ciao.